I just finished logging into the Freedom Pop app, um, getting the phone set up with Freedom Pop, which I've used before. It's great, uh, free free um, cellular data, about 200 megabytes a month, and that's all fine. But uh, I wanted to show the screen that comes up because it appears to be giving you, I don't know, some some service for free. It says a five dollar value for free. But um, it's, it's actually only free for the first month, and the continue button makes it very misleading that this is like the next required step for setting up your phone. And I'm actually going to click this I don't want free stuff button, because, just because. So now it's, uh, we're getting on to the next real step in setting up. So I just wanted to point up or point out that somewhat misleading screen. Freedom Pop is a great service, but um, the, sometimes the advertising lingo, the language that they use, can be a little deceptive, and they'll do just about everything they can since you're using a free service to get you to upgrade and pay for something else, uh, who knows what, and they won't take off the charge. They're they're kind of hard to work with in that respect. So even though you just saw me clearly click the uh, the no button on that upgrade offer, um, I'm, I'm still going to go onto the Freedom Pop website, I'll sign in and I'll check the account and make sure that it's actually, actually not upgraded. Uh, we had an issue in the past where we clicked no and went on the website and they actually hit us with a $5 charge for something that, you know, anyway. So I don't really fully trust it. I'm going to check the website. Signed into a brand new account, or it should be brand new, except that under my services, I it looks like they're already got me signed up for some $8 a month uh, you know, premium service, which I, I definitely do not want. I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, the Freedom Pop is, is free. They, they offer free service, so I want free, free service. So... Um, and then look how small the deactivate link is. You have to scroll all the way down. And yes, I, I am not, uh, never really wanted, chose to sign up for this in the first place. So, especially since it's gonna be costing me. I'm going to downgrade. And I've made it to the next screen where I've entered you know, the password to confirm. It says, by clicking confirm, your plan service will be automatically downgraded slash deactivated, which is what I want. So I will go ahead and uh, get that deactivated. And hopefully we won't end up with an $8 charge for this month yet. A little message here says that my account has been successfully downgraded and my services is now empty. That's good, but I would still uh, check my credit card listing and see, and make just make sure that they haven't charged me. You know, keep an eye on that, uh, that they haven't actually charged me for anything. Just I, you know, just verify, double check. Everything. I wanted to mention uh, something unfortunate that happened with Freedom Pop. We had just bought a SIM card, and um, we we didn't put it in a phone or anything, it was just sitting there. In fact, we kind of forgot about it, and um, maybe it's about a year later, we uh, we had been realized we'd be getting hit with a whole bunch of um, charges on the credit card, and come to realize that it, it all came back to this SIM card that was sitting in the, you know, sitting in the package, not even being used, and, you know, called them about it, and they wouldn't budge, so um, there we... That was definitely not not uh, cool service. Came in the mail. We didn't even have it activated yet. No number, and it was securing charges. So I hope you can see that Freedom Pop can be a, a very uh, useful service, but you have to be um, wary of all of the, I would say, deception and sort of game playing with the advertising that they do. Okay, it's only been about one hour, and I reloaded the page. And here's a premium two gigabyte unlimited for 25 bucks a month. And I can't believe that they signed me up for this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. So again, I, I, 
in these next few days, I'm just gonna be watching this like a hawk. Look, they they want me to as I'm as I'm uh, canceling this, they want me to sign up for something else. Continue to downgrade. Read the uh, text very carefully. Downgrade anyway. So I'll, I'll punch in my password and then. Uh, they signed me up for another service, but actually it still says no services, but it was whenever I went to the plans tab that it was already set up on a $25 monthly. And so, but I mean, like, I definitely did not choose that either. So they, they hit me with the, um, the $8 when I first logged in. Uh, that, that plan was there, which I definitely didn't choose. And then also there was a $25 uh, premium plan, which I also did not choose. And so I, I've had to downgrade two... Uh, services so far and I um, I think that I'm in the clear and looking at the billing there is I'm not sure actually I'm not even sure what this uh, credit account balance is I, that just popped up so I, I can't believe this they just hit me with a $20 charge I don't even know what what the charge is for it says account balance it wasn't the 25 a month thing that I canceled it wasn't the $8 a month thing that I canceled I mean I'm, I'm not sure what to do I'm gonna have to go in from the the uh, you know through my bank and tell them to cancel you know kind of block any charges coming from this because it should be free but they keep signing stuff up I, I don't even know what some of the stuff is Okay, so that uh, twenty dollar charge, it was a a uh, it's a top up balance. What they do is they take twenty dollars at the beginning, and then if you ever go over your monthly um, two hundred megabytes, then they pull from that twenty dollars which you've already paid. And so that's uh, it's required uh, in order to use their service. Um, we called the credit card company to have that uh, reverted, but ultimately. Uh, we're going to have to pay that $20 if we want to use the Freedom Pop service. So you know, we've been using Freedom Pop for a few years. And the, the ultimate takeaway is just because of some of the, what I would call deceptive practices that we've seen, uh, you just have to watch it like a hawk.